as we celebrate both Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day. Today, obviously, is the first day of Mardi Gras, and of course, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. We open our Mardi Gras portion of the program with Carnival in Sao Paulo. The Carnival, Carnival in Sao Paulo is an electrifying celebration that pulsates with vibrant music, exuberant costumes, and contagious energy. Renowned for its samba parades, the festival unleashes an explosion of colors and rhythms as samba schools compete in a dazzling showcase of creativity and talent. From the intricate floats adorned with dazzling designs to the synchronized dance moves of the performers, every element of this spectacle is meticulously crafted to captivate and enthrall the audience. The contagious spirit of joy and celebration permeates the streets, inviting both locals and visitors to immerse themselves in the rich cultural tapestry of Brazil. Hold on to your seats. Carnival in Sao Paulo. Following the slow dirge-like beginning, 
The up-tempo rendition represents a happy send-off to a better life. The original melody has been found in hymnals dating as early as 1860. From the earliest roots of Dixieland style, musicians have often improvised on the music they knew from attending church services. You may have heard Calvin Custer's arrangement of Just a Closer Walk with Thee as performed by the Canadian Brass. That's a masterful adaptation that retains the soulful essence of the original piece while showcasing the versatility and brilliance of brass instruments. Custer's arrangement intricately weaves together the melodies, harmonies, and rhythmic elements, creating a rich tapestry of sound that allows each instrument to shine. Our soloists tonight are Ralph Gingrey on trombone, Lou Buckley on trumpet, and Tom Schaponik on clarinet. Louisiana 
in the early 19th century. It combines elements of Cajun music, French dance melodies, traces of Creole music, and even remnants of Caribbean music. Zydeco music typically features lively tempos and a pronounced backbeat feel. Traditionally, it's performed by small groups, which include guitar, accordion, and a form of washboard known as rub board or scrub board, which tonight will be played by Mark Chiaro. This piece, Zydeco Cajun Crawdad Dance, attempts to convey a spirit of a festive backwoods jubilee, complete with Zydeco dance music, a huge kettle of boiling crawfish, and some general Cajun merrymaking. There's also audience participation in this piece, so watch Gene for some clapping on two and four. Buckley, Andy Phillips, Hugh Wicks, 
Dan Cassidy, and Les Ann Van Sickle. Thank you. 
the history of popular music, songwriters have taken melodies from classical music and folk tunes and turned them into popular hits. Elvis took advantage of this for at least three of his number one hits. His song, Wooden Heart, is taken from a German song called Mus Eden, which is played in a polka style by the band. The German song is about a young man having to leave his true love, but promising to be faithful until he returns and they can be together. Love Me Tender was taken from the folk song Oral Lee, which was written in 1861. In 1865, West Point adopted it with new words as the graduating class song. This melody has been adapted many, many times. Elvis's It's Now or Never was taken from an Italian folk song, O Sole Mio, meaning O Sunshine of Mine, and is being played in this arrangement in a Beguine style. Thank you. 
My Funny Valentine is a jazz standard that features lush harmonies, dynamic phrasing, and a balance of traditional jazz elements. Our arrangement was done by our own Lou Buckley and features tonight's guest soloist, Margaret Banton, on soprano sax. I can't think of a better selection to represent Valentine's Day than my funny Valentine. But following that, and not listed in your program, Margaret will also solo on Danny Boy, the poignant Irish ballad. This melody is to be believed of traditional Irish origin. The song is often associated with Irish culture and has become a classic that's been covered by numerous artists across different genres. The melody is haunting and has a timeless quality, contributing to its enduring popularity. Its heartfelt themes of love, separation, and longing have resonated with audiences for over a century, making it a cherished piece in the world of traditional Irish music. Please welcome Margaret Banton.
Bell of Chicago, a lively and spirited march that Sousa composed in 1892. The title refers to the city of Chicago, and the piece captures the energy and enthusiasm associated with the city. Sousa, known as the March King, crafted this composition with his signature flair, incorporating dynamic rhythms and memorable melodies. The Bell of Chicago remains a staple in Sousa's repertoire, celebrated for its lively character and enduring popularity in the world of American marches. Sousa was soundly criticized for this march, which he composed as a salute to the ladies of Chicago. Although he meant well, the reviews were not at all what Sousa had hoped. Among the protests made by the Chicago newsmen were these. Mr. Sousa evidently regards the Chicago Bell as a powerful creature with the swinging stride of a giant, a voice like a foghorn, and feet like sugar-cured hams. <laughs> the march outlived its criticism, and the reviews did not overshadow the fact that this is one of Sousa's best marches to date.
Say It With Music is a classic song written by the legendary American composer Irving Berlin. The composition was introduced in 1921, and it has since become a well-loved standard. Berlin, known for his contributions to American popular music, crafted this piece with a focus on the power of music as a means of communication and expression. The lyrics convey the idea that emotions and sentiments can be effectively conveyed through the language of music. The melody is catchy, and the overall composition is a celebration of the universal language that is music. Berlin's Say It With Music has endured over the years, reflecting its timeless appeal of his work.
our next piece is our own Lou Buckley. This arrangement was commissioned by the city of Mason City, Iowa, in honor of the 100th anniversary of Meredith Wilson's birth. Mason City was Wilson's birthplace, and it was upon Mason City that he based River City of Music Man fame. However, the one and only condition of the commission was that this not be just the usual two or three greatest hits from the show, but an arrangement containing every single song in the show. So the original version of this arrangement is some 20 minutes long. Needless to say, Lou never inflicts that on his audiences or the bands to play it. So at this point in the concert, we respectfully want to save the lips of our players and the ears of our listeners. Notice that the four saxophones present the school board barbershop quartet, if you remember that from the movie. I also want to take this time to direct your attention to the upcoming concerts listed in your program. We appreciate our venue here at New Covenant United Methodist Church and hope to see you again for future performances. And now would you put your hands together and welcome our arranger of this piece, Louis Buckley. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and good evening. Uh, there are a couple of things I'd like to say about this arrangement. First of all, it's really difficult, and it is really quite a marvelous thing that this group is going to do the wonderful job that they've been doing in all of the rehearsals. You're really going to enjoy it. it. It should not be taken for granted. There's a particular reason I want you to understand that, because if you remember the show or the movie, Harold Hill is about to be ridden out of town on a rail if his boy's band, who he had only taught the think system to, which of course doesn't exist, unless they could play something. And if you remember the scene, they played the minuet in G, incredibly badly. We do that well, too. <laughs> but I want you to understand that it's on purpose. It's really hard for good musicians to play too soon or too late and badly out of tune and with a terrible sound. But they've got it down, I gotta tell you. <laughs> Just know that they did it on purpose. Thank you so much.
evening celebration of Mardi Gras and Valentine's Day with Johnny Vincent's arrangement of the Saints' Hallelujah, a jubilant and spirited interpretation that combines the iconic melody of When the Saints Go Marching In with the exuberant Hallelujah Chorus. This arrangement infuses a contagious energy into the classic tunes, combining the familiar melodies with innovative harmonies and rhythmic variations. Vincent's orchestration allows each section of the ensemble to shine, creating dynamic interplay between instruments while maintaining the infectious toe-tapping feeling of the original songs. With its vibrant and lively presentation, this arrangement brings a fresh and invigorating perspective to these timeless melodies, offering audiences an exciting musical journey filled with joy and enthusiasm. And I'd like to take this moment to thank you very much for joining us this evening, and we wish you all a very happy Mardi Gras and happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>